First of all, I'm Albert Bohr, the leader of the Labour Group on the City Council. In terms of the pledges, I don't really have a problem with those pledges. Um, I've put motion after motion before this council. The problem we've got uh, is that this City Council um, has got no wheels left. Uh, we've had £212 million taken out of the budget last year, another £100 odd million this year. Uh, there is more money, possibly another £100 million to come out next year. And given the announcement from government just today that uh, uh, departments are being looked for another 5% in terms of cuts, I guess that there are more cuts on the way. I announced this morning that Birmingham City Council, under Labour control, uh, would put in a living wage policy. As far as this City Council is concerned, it will affect 2,743 employees. That's 5.9% of the City Council's workforce. Uh, these are employees who are currently paid between £6.39 and £7.15 an hour. And under the living wage policy, they'll be paid £7.20 an hour. What we have said in the statement I put out this morning, we'll start this with the public sector in terms of the City Council, but then we'll try and move the policy on into the private sector. We'll use the contract, uh, contracting position of Birmingham City Council uh, to take that living wage condition through as part of the contracts uh, that this City Council will issue. And we'll look to those who are already under contract to the City Council to adopt a living wage policy. Thank you very much. Good evening. I'm Councillor Alan Rudge and I'm for the Conservative Party. And first of all, I would like to say that I do believe the public sector has an important role to play in the country and in any a democratic country. Having said that though, it has to be in relation to what the country can afford and unfortunately we grotesquely overspent by one trillion our resources a few years back and regardless when you look about it, we have limited funding. People are living longer so we have complications in this country for a number of things. Healthcare is becoming incredibly important and in how we can manage it, how we can manage the costs for our country in the future. I actually do think there are difficult problems to be created, and we can't be blasé that it's simplistic and just one person is to blame. We have to work out a solution so all parties and all other countries can benefit for the future in a difficult, competitive global world. Thank you. Yes, uh, David Williams, Birmingham Green Party. Um, can I start by saying that I very much endorse the um, pledges that you're asking us to sign up to this evening. In particular, the Green Party is passionately in favour of public services and that cutting them as a way of dealing with the bankers' mistakes is the wrong way forward. It's as simple as that. The Green Party is passionately in favour also of peace internationally. We don't agree with our continued involvement in Afghanistan. We believe that that is on a hiding to nothing, and the sooner we can withdraw from there, the better. The Green Party is also um, in favour of scrapping Trident. It's a hugely expensive waste of money. For we strongly believe in tackling global warming, and more locally, investing heavily in renewables and making sure that we build a city which is based on public transport and local, and local delivery services rather than one which is based upon the car. There's also a referendum on the 3rd of May. The Green Party is opposed to having a directly elected mayor for Birmingham. We think that's the wrong way forward. It's putting too much power in one pair of hands. Mm -hmm. Good evening everybody, my name is Ben, uh, I'm standing for the Trade Unionist and Socialist Coalition in Green Ward. Um, on the PCS pledges I'll be out in solidarity on the 10th of May, so I think you can all guess whether I'm signing up to them or not. We've got a crisis that the working class didn't create, um, that the working class are being asked to pay for. Um, we've got a country that the, the Coalition are essentially putting up for sale, the schools, the hospitals, the West Midlands Police Force. Um, where public is suddenly seen as a means of redistributing wealth from the, from the taxpayer to the private sector through things like PFI, through privatisation, through um, outsourcing council services. Uh, I'm standing against all of those things. I'm standing against workfare, which is a direct attack on the terms and conditions of the working class, because when you start paying people nothing for their labour, it starts to undermine all those people around them. I'm standing against the established parties. Um, George Osborne was right when he said we're all in it together, but he wasn't talking about us. He was talking about the established parties. Um, and if we're going to stand a chance, ordinary working people in this country need to stand together and they need to stand up to our political class. My name's uh, Christopher Hughes. I'm standing um, in Kings Norton uh, on behalf of Communities Against the Cuts. 
it's quite clear what we're standing for. We're against all of the cuts. In our constituencies, we're born out of necessity. There is no fight back at all from the major political parties, none at all. We fought for Charles House and we've saved Charles House. We fought for Merrishaw Nursery, we've saved Merrishaw Nursery and we have stopped Bourneville School going to an academy. Are you going to reverse the cuts? That's what we want to know, yes or no. Bill, I might as well come straight in. I've said, and I'll say here tonight, Labour, on taking control of the City Council, cannot reverse the cuts. You don't know half of what's going to happen because they haven't been transparent about the cuts and the effect of cuts and the, uh, uh, the uh, various reviews that government have introduced.